And lastly, if you don't like dressing up that well, like if you don't like looking cute, if you like, if you like this, can you hear my mom singing like, wow, wow. Okay. But I was playing games with you, but now it's so. my youtube channel today i'm going to be giving you a video on how to style oversized t-shirts it could be a dress it could be a shirt it could be whatever okay so i'm going to be showing you how to style those so if you're new to my channel you should totally subscribe and if you're not new then thank you for coming back okay so let's get started with this video as you may know okay if i'm looking down i got my phone okay because you know i can't remember all this stuff i took my notes you can't see that but oh well I'm going to be giving you five ways on how to style your oversized t-shirts and if you see me sitting over here I'm going to be putting some graphics over here so that you can see I'm going to be using this website polyboard.com and you can follow me if you want to look at my sets but I'm going to be demonstrating how to style them by giving you like pictures and stuff so yeah as you may know it's the fall season it's time to start looking cute for your wait did you really think I was going to say man? Well, that's why you should never judge a book by its cover. Boy, if you don't get... Anyways, you got to start looking cute for the fall because, you know, it's that's when you start looking cute. You know, you be wearing your long clothes, you be wearing your thigh-high boots, you be wearing all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you some ways to style oversized t-shirts because honestly that's my favorite look like that's why i'm really excited for the fall i'll burn up if i wore oversized t-shirts right now it's still hot outside i live in florida and i don't have time for that i don't want to be having no big old sweat stains over my shirt because it's hot i can't be doing that right now so it's fall it's going to be cooling down and i could wear those right now okay first we have the basic graphic oversized tee you know those basic like graphic tees with the like rock band on them like led zeppelin or you know the thrasher the thrasher t-shirts just the ones with all those like rock graphics how you compare these of course i'm gonna put them over here you might see a little video going on over here because you might see it how you could wear those is like you could get a basic graphic a graphic um t-shirt is bigger like i know a lot of stores don't sell them like that but what i usually do because i'm a small person like look at me i have a small frame so I would get like the largest size that they have, an extra, extra large. And I would, of course, because I'm taller, it won't really look like a dress on me, but it'll look like a, um, I have to wear shorts under my. So in reality, it may look like I'm not wearing any pants, but I'm wearing shorts under there, so don't judge me, okay? I think what'll look cute with it is like a, you know those jean jackets? You could wear them off the shoulder like hang it off the shoulder and you can wear like some thigh high boots and you can wear like the boots could be any color as long as it's inside of that graphic design like if you have some uh black t-shirt with like some red graphic designs you can wear some red thigh high boots and a jean jacket girl that'll look cute okay so basic graphic oversized tees they typically start around 12 dollars not that expensive but um i would get the largest size because you know, you can't just get a small t-shirt and expect it to be oversized. You gotta get the largest size, okay? So yeah, the basic graphic oversized tee. You can wear them as a dress. But some people like wearing with like high-waisted pants. You can wear whatever you want. I'm just giving you some ideas, some ideas to dress because you wanna look cute at school, okay? Okay. So number two, we have the solid colored t-shirts. Okay, so you know Rihanna. When she was performing on that stage with that brown dress and that green olive corset belt around the waist, y'all. Wow, can we just take a moment to appreciate this picture right here? Wow, just wow. But yeah, corset belts, like, if they can make you look like you have a waistline. They can make you like you have an hourglass body even though you look like a twig. My idea, like a cute outfit that I was thinking, is you could wear like a white shirt 
with some colorful belts. Like, you know, you have a red corset belt with a white oversized t-shirt, a blue one. Uh, a jean one would look cute if you want to be like that batty look or that edgy look. A white shirt with like a jean corset. That would be like really cute. Also, um, oversized t-shirts don't always come in. You know, white, black, you know, that's the basic ones. Like those go with anything. White and black go with anything, okay? If you want to switch it up a little bit, you know, like if you want to be noticed, if you want to be out there, you can get like a yellow. You can get like some really colorful oversized t-shirts like yellow, red, blue, purple, pink. And if you have like a another colorful corset belt, like you have like a yellow oversized shirt with like a red corset belt or a red oversized shirt with a yellow corset belt and some thigh high boots. Girl girl people gonna be like who is that like oh my god is she famous like is she who is that i want to know who that is okay so if you want to be popping like that you're gonna switch it up a little bit you can't just be dressing like everyone else you gotta switch it up a little bit so you like give it a little color give you some yellow and red put together give you some blue and purple put together give you some green and orange put together like you gotta mix it up a little bit you know color block there you go color block and of course I'm putting some examples over here so you can know what I'm talking about. And I created these examples. So yeah, I'm just giving you some ideas. Like, girl, if I had the money, I would slay like. But you know, I'm a college student, a broke college student, and I don't have time, like, I don't have money to be buying all that stuff. I gotta pay for my classes, I gotta pay for my books, I gotta pay for all of that. So, that's why I'm not wearing it and she's giving me, like, a look because I don't have the stuff with me. <laughs> okay, so, like I stated, the third one, this is the third one, we're on the third one. Like I stated, we have the oversized, is it TV up? Just shut up. Okay. We have the oversized t-shirts with the jackets okay so of course you don't have to wear like an oversized t-shirt as a dress all the time you can have like an oversized t-shirt and you can like roll it up roll it up so it could be like a crop top and then you can wear like some high-waisted pants and you know those fishnet stockings um you can wear those like underneath your high-waisted pants so they can show on your stomach a little bit and if you have holes in your pants wow just wow that, that'll look so cute okay so you can wear your oversized t-shirts like that we wear with jackets like i didn't see in the style lately where people were wearing like oversized t-shirts with like but they're like a dress form and they have bomber jackets like those oversized bomber jackets or those camel jackets um those long camel jackets and of course the jean jacket so if you have like an oversized t-shirt dress and you know, if it gets chilly outside, you can get like an oversized bomber jacket and then wear it like off the shoulders, you know, for a look. And you can wear like a jean jacket off the shoulders or you can wear it over your shoulders, however way you want to. Or you can wear like a camo. I think it's a cargo jacket. I think it's like an oversized cargo jacket and you can wear that over your t-shirt dress and then y'all what i think will look cute is like you don't always have to wear um thigh high boots you could wear um booties i think that's what they're called um you can wear booties and those like not the they're not like boots that go all the way up your legs but they like stop at like the socks like ankle socks you can wear those those look cute like anything okay so you could wear some booties, you know, they could be like black booties, white booties, and red booties. Um, wow, this sounds so weird. Um, let me just stop. You know what I'm talking about. As you can see over here, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now this is something different, okay? This is the fourth one, and I like this one the most, to be honest. Um... Of course, Rihanna, I'm using Rihanna as an example for all of these because she can really dress to y'all. Like, wow. So, instead of wearing an oversized t-shirt, you can have an oversized 
dress shirt like if you have a boyfriend and you know you just want to steal his clothes you know you can take one of his dress shirts and you can also put that use that as a jacket too for an oversized t-shirt i didn't say that but you could also use like a dress shirt for over for like a jacket because i always like like i wear i like to wear like sleeveless clothes when i go to like the store and it'll always be cold in the grocery store so i'll always bring like a, a dress shirt jacket to uh, wear inside the store because i be freezing if i don't have that okay but back to this one oversized dress shirt um it'll be cute if you have like a white dress shirt and you could pair put a belt around the waist and you have some cute heels with it wow that's what But in all honesty, it doesn't matter the color of the shirt. They all look great in my opinion. So, and if you pair these with some like heels and or some booties, it's a whole look, sis. Like, it's a whole look. So, dress shirt, I'm giving you some examples over here. With a belt around the waist. And lastly, if you don't like dressing up that well, like if you don't like looking cute, if you like, if you like this, can you hear my mom singing like, wow, wow. Okay, but anyways, um, if you just want a basic look, you know, like the skater girl look like, you know, like when you go on a skateboard with your friends, you know, you still want to look cute or whatever. You can just wear a plain oversized t-shirt with nothing. And then you can wear some Converse's or some Vans with it. And I mean, it'll still look cute, but you have to get the right oversized t-shirt. Like it has to be real long, like extra, 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 extra large. Okay. A plain basic t-shirt with some Converse's or some Vans, you know? So yeah. Um, those are my five ways of how I would style oversized dress shirts. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. I tried to help by giving you a visual of what I would do using polyboard.com. And I'm going to leave my link in the description if you want to follow me and you want to look at these sets. So, and of course I'm going to create these after I film the video. So that's why you're seeing the um, screen recording of them as I'm creating them or whatever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing more of these probably like once a week or twice a week. Um, I'm going to post this on my website and I have my website link in the description. So if you want to read it, you know, I have it all typed and I see it posted to my website. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to put all my following links over here so you can see. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video okay and yes don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up you know like just like it okay you know it's a really good video i like it so that means you should like it too okay so i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video and bye okay